Uh, let me just wrap up by doing a couple of quick things. Earlier on when we were talking, you made a kind of offhand comment about, um, or maybe I made an offhand comment about the fact that because we're doing this little prisoner's dilemma thing, and we have this sort of wall here, we're going to end up in this little bad place, right? With the minus six, minus six. And there was this kind of notion that what if we could hear each other? Would that make a difference? And, and the answer was, no, not really, because whoever goes first is going to lose. And if you try to get people to go at the same time, well, in some sense, that's the same thing as having a wall and you can't hear each other if you have to go at exactly the same time. Right? Does that make sense? I didn't quite understand. Why does the per person who goes first lose? Because if I find out whether you're going to cooperate or defect, then I will just then do the thing that makes sense. So if you do anything but defect, I will defect, and then I will win and you will lose. So whoever goes first runs the risk of the other person um, screwing them over. So I see. Unless, the, unless that person defects. Right, but if that person defects, the other person is going to defect. Right. So, but you don't lose any more than you would have. That's true. And, but you still end up in this kind of unfortunate place. So one question you might have there is, well, yeah, but that's just because you can only do this once. But what if you could do this twice? So let's imagine we're going to be in this situation today, and then we're going to be in this situation tomorrow because, you know— you keep leading me astray. So whatever happens today, I can use as information for what I might do tomorrow. So if I decide to go ahead and cooperate this time and you defect, then I know you're the kind of person who defects. And so when we're in this situation again, I'm definitely going to defect. So maybe in that situation, it's in your best interest to go ahead and cooperate because then we can keep cooperating together, and in the end, it sort of works out. So maybe this notion of not just playing Prisoner's Dilemma once, but playing Prisoner's Dilemmas twice, or three times, or four times, or five times, might come to a different result. Yeah, that seems possible. I mean, I could imagine saying to you, through this channel in the wall, something that says, you know, cooperate with me, or, uh, yeah, right, or I will, I will stop cooperating with you, and so you get more reward if you, if you cooperate with me. Right. So my question to you is, what does happen exactly in this set where I have two versions, uh, two co consecutive games of Prisoner's Dilemma to play? What am I going to do? OK. Well, now, I mean, I, uh, we can turn this into a game, right? I and mean, this, that's what you were teaching us how to do. Yeah. So, you c so now the game has four. Well, I don't know. I mean, so one way to do it is to say A has a choice to make on the first step and <clears throat> and that could be cooperate or defect. And then the second step could be cooperate or defect. So there's four possibilities. Right. B has the same four possibilities. But maybe we can actually have A be responsive to B. So A has two things to do on the first step and then two things to do on the second step for each thing that B did on the first step for a total of eight combinations. So right. if we you made an that. eight by eight matrix, we should be able to solve it. Right. So that's pretty easy to do. You just kind of draw an eight by eight matrix in you know that many dimensions and it you know you end up right here i wasn't thinking about that many dimensions i just thought like the normal kind of matrix but okay oh i see i see i see i mean it's well, eight by eight so that's kind of a pain right so it's 64 cells and i guess i guess we don't want to fill that out yeah but you know what we could fill that out but i'm gonna help you out here by pointing out you know what it's not gonna make a difference oh so here let's see if i can walk you through why it's not gonna make a difference 